The HDCD1 is a CD player designed to match the HDAMP1 compact amplifier within Marantz's revived Music Link range, which also includes the HD DAC1 headphone amp. These compact hi-fi components are ideal for those who want an attractive, space-saving system, but refuse to compromise on sound quality. The HDCD1 is a beautifully engineered player, boasting luxurious build quality and elegant looks. A common design theme across all three products is the use of glossy, wood-patterned sides, which provide a stylish retro feel. At 304 mm wide, it's easier to accommodate than most CD decks and looks gorgeous perched on the identically sized HDAMP1. The brushed aluminium front panel and top plate are available in a choice of black or silver gold, and feel remarkably solid. The double layer base plate and chunky feet protect against detrimental vibrations. This is every inch the premium player. That feeling continues when you open the centrally mounted disc tray, which slides forth with a near silent movement and clunks shut. The front of the tray is adorned in the same finish as the side panels, providing nice visual continuity. Below the tray you'll find a large dot matrix display, which provides track and running time information. Within the panel are tiny track skip, stop and pause buttons, while the remaining keys are dotted around the fascia, standby, play, eject. There's a 6.2mm headphone jack with its own volume control, which is a nice idea, although the knob is a little too fiddly. On the back are gold-plated analog synth outputs, plus coaxial and optical outputs that bypass the HDCD1 zone DAC, should you rather use the HDAMP1 ZSS Saber DAC. Elsewhere, you'll find remote control input and output. The HDCD1 features a high-quality CD transport mechanism, designed for accurate disc reading, which sends data to the Cirrus Logic CS4398 high-resolution digital-to-analog converter. Together with a crystal oscillator master clock and a low impedance capacitor, it ensures optimal conversion of digital data while reducing noise. Meanwhile, the HDCD1 uses the latest version of Marantz's HAM hyperdynamic amplifier modules, which use separate optimized components as opposed to the all-in-one chip amplifiers used by other products. The HAM tech employed here is HAM SA2, said to offer a wide dynamic range, wide frequency response and low distortion. The dedicated amplification in the headphone section also uses DAM technology and comes with its own gain settings, low, medium, high, to drive particularly demanding headphones. The disc mechanism can play MP3, WMA and AAC2, but one thing it won't do is play SAC discs. For an audiophile bidding player such as this, it comes as something of a surprise. The HDCD1 comes with its own remote control, which not only operates the disc player but the HDAMP1 too. In fact, it's virtually identical to the HDAMP1's remote, aside from an extra grid of numbered keys at the bottom and buttons at the top to switch between CD and AMP modes. If you're pairing the two components then their zappers are interchangeable. Its responsive rubber keys make it a pleasure to operate while the brushed black finish looks nice. Pressing the setup key on the remote brings up a simple menu on the front display, which you can explore using the remote's direction pad. You'll find headphone gain, auto standby and quick replay settings, plus an option to shut down the digital outputs. I connected the HDCD1 to the HDAMP1 using its analog output to get a flavor of the DEX own digital to analog conversion, and the results are impressive. The HDCD1 and its compact companion spoil you with a clean, precise yet full-bodied sound. With Steely Dan's legendary Aya in the tray, it handles the polished jazz rock with tremendous agility. The snares that drive Peg really pop, while the busy bass line dances around the rhythm with absolute control and precision. Skip to the title track and there's plenty of warmth and texture during the sax solos towards the end. Combining the HDCD1 with the HDAMP1 is a smart move. The amp's intrinsic transparency allows the spinner's detail to shine. 
you hear every nuance and leading edge, while instruments and vocals are given plenty of room to breathe. This is abundantly clear when playing George Benson's Breezing CD. The intricacy with which the Marantz renders Benson's soulful guitar work on this masquerade dash not to mention the simmering concoction of percussion, pianos and strings behind it, shows the HD CD1 to be an insightful, nuanced performer. The sound is well balanced and easy on the ear, even when you push up the volume. There's no harshness at the top end, just biting, expressive treble that keeps you engaged. Upping the tempo with So Good by Apolopo, the Marantz makes the 80s electro tinge beats sound big and beefy. The synth bass line is weighty and the overall sense of timing and cohesion is something to behold. What's more, this player, Amp Partnership sets out a wide, well-managed soundstage that never feels overcrowded or muddy, instruments are performed and placed in a way that feels natural and convincing. It's really hard to fault the HDCD1's performance. If you're after a player that makes the most of your CD collection, but which doesn't take up acres of space, then the HDCD1 is well worth a punt. It's the perfect partner for Marantz's similarly impressive HDAMP1, not only because they make sweet music but also because they look stunning together.